Hey YouTube, it's Veroni Anderson. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about some maybe new things for you, right? Maybe other people, it's not new, but just some different stuff that is going on in the sex scene, right? So if you're one of those person who is tired of vanilla sex and want to spicy up your life, right? this is something that you could think about. I'm just providing information to do or to look into this world when it comes to sex is very fascinated and there is some fascinating and there is a lot of stuff that I myself haven't explored it right because the sex is just so ongoing just ongoing learning and every year we discuss something about our body and just new pleasures pleasure that we could bring to our body so I want to keep you up to date and inform when it comes to sex but before I jump into the video please remember to subscribe to my channel of course you know I have a YouTube membership so please support my membership and share and comment on my videos of course all right so let's get into it so the first one is um, fissing this in and what it mean is that you could Put your fists in either your vagina or your anal, right? But I know if you're thinking like that is weird. Remember that your body is stretchable. <laughs> your vagina could carry um, a baby, right? So, of course, fisting, you have to make sure that your hand is very, 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 very lubricated. And the person, of course, have to be in agreement with it right and it should not cause pain it should be something that the person enjoy so fisting new something to try to like spice up the bedroom the next one is cupping and I don't know um, if you see some athletes who do it because cupping could actually like release pain right and it's good for like massage so basically you get like a a jar right and there is some heat some people put candle and you just move it to one spot and what it does is they like bring that blood to that area well they have cupping when it comes to sex right but you have to be very careful it is recommended that you actually go to a workshop or do some more research when it comes to it because you don't want to put fire on your private area if you don't really know about it right so do some research and you could get that equipment or the cupping equipment for out of sex a store right <laughs> one of the next practice is called cup cock holding and I hope I'm pronouncing it right and basically it is a partner a man watching his other partner having sex I mean, when I think about cock holding, I gotta tell you, when I think about cock holding, I think about um, it's the wife who's having sex with a different person and the husband is somewhere holding his, his penis in his hands, right? But basically, so that this is kind of in the DSM um, community where the partner is, he could be in the room watching his girlfriend, boyfriend having sex right or they could be outside the room watching them having sex in some cases they don't even have to be in the room they could be anywhere but they agree to get pictures taken right they agree to get pictures taken and the person have sex with what they call a, a bull the bull is the person who's having sex with the wife or the partner or the girlfriend so the the, the yes <laughs> the person who's having sex with the partner they call that person the bull so the next one and I love this one it's called hot wife in and basically your wife can go out and have sex with a different guy hot wife in right so the husband and the wife both agree sex is consensual but the wife go out and have sex with different persons. So she's hot wife in. Oh my God. I just love 
um, that really and truly love it right it just lights lights me up lights me up <laughs> so those are the three I think that was five right five different things that no no that's not five that is four here is another one and this is um, it's called the actor octopus sex position right and basically both people are sitting face to face right they're sitting on their ass and your hands are behind you right and then the person or the person who's going to receive who's going to be their um, the receptive one legs is over on their partner's shoulder so face to face both person on their ass hands behind to hold up right my leg would be over my partner's shoulder while his penis would be inside me so that's the octopus sex position if you want to try that <laughs> if you want to try that that's a good um experience thing to try so if you're tired of just you know the different sexual position and if you're tired of just you know moving from different place to place in your house there these are the five stuff that you could do let me know what you think about it and if you have ever done it before it's Veroni Anderson. Please remember to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Bye.